Hello everyone, and welcome back to another session of Dark Souls 2 PvP and another weapon showcase. This time, I'm using the Silver Black Sickle, which you can get as a drop from the Grave Wardens that are in the Undead Crypt by Agdane. This weapon is a rare drop from the members of the Blue Man Group, so it will take a little bit of farming to get, but getting started with the weapon itself. The Silver Black Sickle requires 15 strength, 10 dexterity, 8 intelligence, and 8 faith in order to wield. It has a C scaling in strength, a C in dexterity, as well as a C in dark. The physical base damage of the weapon is 160. The dark base damage of the weapon is 105. For me, the attack rating is 455 with a ring of blades plus 2, so a 405 with that one. The counter strength of the weapon is 110. Poise damage is 20 per hit, and the weight is 4 units. Now, this weapon, it is actually a Reaper class weapon, despite the fact that its moveset really, you know, is not like it at all. It's more like an Axe class. This actually counts as a Reaper class weapon. That being said, it does share the ability to bypass shields, but only with its R2 attacks. So, there's that. Now, I'd have to say that the biggest pro of this weapon would definitely be its ability to do combos. It has the same combo ability as any X-Class weapon. It's great at chasing people down and, you know, just running R1, R1, R2, jump attacks. They all flow very well and are very damaging combos, and that's a really good thing. Now, the other pros of the weapon, of course, you have your shield piercing, and you'll actually do extra damage through a person's shield, due to the fact that this weapon does have a uh, dark a dark damage to it. It has an extra damage type. So, that's a very good thing. You'll do extra damage through shields, and, you know, it just makes it even better. Now, some other pros, uh, very minor ones. The extra chip damage through the shield, I did mention. Another one would be that the sweet spots for passing through shields. Unlike most Reaper class weapons, this one, they are very wide and very easy to hit with, mostly due to the fact that its moveset is so uh, much like an axe. Now, the reason that's making it easier is because most Reaper class weapons, they have long handles, and then the blade part of the weapon where the sweet spot is located along. Well, this one, it's essentially just uh, it's a little short handle, and then there's the blade of the weapon. That's all there is to it. So because you need to be close to your opponent to begin with to hit them, it's just very easy to hit with the sweet spots. So, there's that. Now, the cons of the weapon, the biggest con, I'd have to say it's that at times the damage is really not that great. Yes, it's easy to hit with the sweet spot, but its attack rating isn't fantastic, and, you know, it's not a huge deal, but there are weapons that are significantly better if you want ones that have this move set. And if you want ones that do shield piercing, there just are better options. But that being said, it is a very good weapon, and it's a very, very good choice if you want something with an axe move set. Just due to the fact you can pass through shields, you know? So, uh, other than that, the other con that I have for this weapon would definitely be that it's short for a Reaper class weapon, but. You know, that's average length for an axe, and that doesn't really mean too terribly much. Now, from this part of the video on, maybe a few fights earlier, I don't remember when I started it, but I started to use a dark infused one, and that actually does fix the uh, biggest con that I had about the damage not being great. With the dark infused one, its damage output definitely is a good amount better because of the fact that it's more focused in dark damage and less evenly split. Now, when infused with dark, it has a C scaling in strength, a D in dexterity, and a B in dark. The physical base damage drops down to 96, and the dark base damage goes up to 189. So with that, the attack rating is 474 withering of blades plus 2, so that's a 449 without one. And that definitely helps things out, because now it's more of a dark weapon than a split damage weapon. It's more focused in one category as opposed to being evenly split, and that's a good thing. So, other than that, uh, it's relatively straightforward. It's essentially just an axe that has shield piercing on its R2s, 
and is affected by sweet spots. That's really what this weapon comes down to, and you know, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I don't know how many times I've been using an axe and wanted to pass through someone's shield, but couldn't because it was an axe. So, you know, it really does have its time and place, and when you are fighting against the turtle, it really does shine. So, anyway, this is the last fight in the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, found it helpful in one way or another. Please like, subscribe, and all of that good stuff, and I will see you guys next time.